it was pretty clear to us. We knew where we wanted to get married. This is just, it's a special campus. It's a special chapel. We, we knew. This is really the heart of Samford University, and it's so special to be able to work with a great team, Hoare Construction, to renovate this space for us. Joanna and Andrew Feldworth were the first couple scheduled to be married in Reed Chapel after its renovation. And towards the end of the project, their wedding date became the project completion date. Because we were working specifically on sound and lighting, that the lead time was maybe a little longer than we had anticipated. Some of the parts and things were coming from France. Because of that, we couldn't maybe work on the same timeline that we had originally anticipated. We had one goal. We had the shared goal of turning this building over and not only turning it over on time, but that it was beautiful and that we had a very happy bride at the end of the day. One week before the wedding, Joanna and her mother were given a tour of the chapel, which was still a work in progress. I turned to my colleague, Tim Wilson from Hoare Construction and said, what I want you to know is this man will not say to you, we can't do it, we can't get it done, it's not in our scope, that's not possible. You will not hear those words. And then I talked about all of the beautiful buildings that have been built on this campus by Hoare Construction and the quality work that you do. And I assured them yet again that this would be a beautiful, magical day. And then I said, but it's not that way today. We did not have the pews in. The floor was just being scrubbed. Um, we still had painting going on everywhere. There was a lot of work still to do. Kim did such a great job of, and Tim as well, telling us now, or preparing us, you know, hey, it's not quite it's not quite there, we're really close, it will be done, don't worry. I could picture it. And the way Tim and his crew, like, they, they took the time with me to answer all my questions and to point out, you know, this is gonna be like this, and this is gonna be finished, and I, I mean, I started to cry. It was really overwhelming, it was really exciting. By the wedding rehearsal on Friday, the renovation at Reed Chapel was finished. Charlie Morgan, assistant superintendent, I'll have to give him all the credit because he did a fabulous job of coordinating every single detail. We've built a great team of, of uh, not only our employees but our trade partners and uh, they've never let us down. The transformation from one week to from one week prior to the rehearsal to the rehearsal was it was completely two different sides. It was like wow. They're ready. <laughs> they had a crew who was here and getting it done, like Joanna said, is it, it blows our mind and we are very, very thankful. I, I could say thank you a million times and it wouldn't be enough, so. But even after we turned the building over, our team didn't go anywhere. We assembled an emergency response team to be on site all weekend. Our goal was to be here in case they needed something and we just hoped that they didn't. And if we looked up and we needed anything, you see a vest here, a hard hat here. But what really touched me about that day was uh, they came and said, uh, Tim has requested that we have a picture made. Can, can he have a picture made with the bride? I thought we'd just all stand there and smile and they're like, okay, we have it all cleaned out. You're gonna stand here and we're gonna pretend to be working. And I was all about it. It was, it was really funny. We will look back on that picture. <clears throat> for years and years and think that was so fun. <laughs> it will remind us how much we appreciate Tim and the crew and you know just all of Hoare Construction that just took the time and met the deadline you know so that Joanne and Andrew could have their day and we really appreciate that.